So now you're heading into a convention. Uh, if you get to one, two, three, seven, or if you don't and you're close, you're going to be going to a convention. What is your plan to bring people together there and get many, as you know, who don't want you to get this nomination to change their minds? Because I think there's a natural healing process. Once the battle is over, once the war is over, I think there really is a natural healing process. And I've gotten along with people all my life. This is actually a little bit unusual. I've gotten along very well with people, and I think it'll happen again. And I, I believe it will. Now, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll go along the same path, which has obviously been an effective path. I think we'll win before getting to the convention. But I can tell you, if we didn't, and if we're 20 votes short, or if we're, if we're you know, 100 short, and we're at 1,100 and somebody else is at 500 or 400, because we're way ahead of everybody, I don't think you can say that we don't get it automatically. I think it would be, I think you'd have riots. I think you'd have riots. You know, we have, we're, I'm representing a tremendous, many, many millions of people. In many cases, first-time voters. These are people that haven't voted because they never believed in the system. They didn't like candidates, et cetera, et cetera, that are 40 and 50 and 60 years old. And they've never voted you, before. Many, many of those people, many Democrats, many independents coming in. That's what the big story is, really, Chris. I mean, the really big story is how many people are voting in these primaries. The, the numbers are astronomical. Now, if you disenfranchise those people and you say, well, I'm sorry, but you're 100 votes short, even though the next one is 500 votes short, I think you would have problems like you've never seen before. Well, I think... I think it would I think bad things would happen. I really do. I believe that. I wouldn't lead it, but I think bad things would happen.